Hello guys, before I start this 49ers news, um, I will be back at work in hospitality, where I work in a, a restaurant trade on Thursday, so I'm going to try my best to go live Thursday night for the NFL Draft. If I miss it, then I'll do my news reaction to what quarterback we'll get um, for the pick three. So, um, without further ado, um, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so the news is for today is 49ers shift focus to Alabama quarterback Matt Jones and NDSU quarterback Trey Lance for a number three pick. Uh, this is by, I think it's General Scott, NFL.com, uh, digital content producer. And it says here, uh, in the less, uh, less than four days away from the start of the 2021 NFL Draft, the 49ers have reportedly set their sights on which quarterbacks they their iron on the number three overall pick. Okay. Um, NFL Network Insider Ian uh, Roperport reported suddenly that the belief is f uh, San Francisco has appeared to narrow its focus on selecting either Matt Jones or Trey Lance, according to several sources. Okay, all right. Uh, Sunday's update extremely uh, eliminates the possibility of the Niners drafting highly prospect Justin Fields, whom several analysts list as the third best uh, quarterback prospect in the year's draft. Uh, Rappaport's report uh, also fails in line with the long-standing rumour that the team has its eyes on drafting Jones third overall after months of scouting the former Crimson Tide signal caller. In reality, the 49ers have done their uh, due diligence on both quarterbacks as evidenced by coach, uh, by Coach Carl Shanahan and General Manager John Lynch, according to both Jones' second pro day on March 30th and Lance's second pro day on April 19th. Lance has reportedly been working with quarterback uh, coach John Beck, who played under Shanahan in Washington. It's worth noting that Beck has also helped uh, prep Fields for his second pro day earlier this month. Uh, NFL Network's Tom Plesko uh, reportedly listed Jones and Lance as the fourth and fifth uh, press uh, Breeze perspectivity in the year's quarterback class based on conversations with NFL exclusive scouts and coaches. So what does that mean for us? Well, like I said, me truly, I don't care who we get. The 49ers know who to get, right? And if it's something like, let's say, Mac Jones. Now, 50% I've heard from NFL fans or, you know, or just people in, in just in general, Mac Jones, he's decent. Long arm throws, not too bad. Um, he's an all-mover, and he's sort of like um, Jimmy G in a sort of way. 50% of it, fans don't like that. They want a long arm, very athlete, very in prime, youngster, you know, that we've got for the next 5 to 10 years. Um, me, personally, I don't care. The 49ers know who to get. They know that this person's, you know, it's going to be broken into in the 49ers, how they play. Had a quarterback play. You know, he's going to be the face of the franchise when Jimmy G goes at some point. They know he's going to be, you know, he's the face of the 49ers. So they know who to get. Um, Robert Paul, 50, I mean, his reports ain't too bad. Some of, like, 50, like, like I said, half it comes out true and then probably half it doesn't. But I don't know. Uh, I mean, he's pretty good at getting sources, so decent sources. And half the time he's usually right. But I still got that thing in the back of my mind that Robert, like I said, Robert Sala worked with Jimmy G, you know, breathed together, ate together. They know, you know, Sala, Shanahan, Super Bowl. You know what I mean? That's how close they were. They know what to do. They they read each other's minds. They know what to do. They know what to get. They know how to play it off, and they did it. But I'm still thinking about in my mind that Robert Sala is going to get Justin Fields. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. But the way that the quarterbacks have been in the Jets, it's like if you go to the Jets, it's like a flaky move. Um, how do I put it? Flaky move, but like a jinx move. You're going to the Jets. Ooh, that's bad. But you don't know. Robert Sala could turn this around, you know. I'm always going to back my team. Always going to back my Niners, no matter what they've done wrong or right, angry, upset, whatever. But this year, I'm also be keeping an eye on the Jets. I like to. I want to see what Salah does. So yeah, uh, but I, I, like I said, I still got in the back of my mind that Justin Fields is going to the Jets. Robert's got him. 
I, I, I don't know what it is. I could be wrong. You leave your comment right down there. You tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm right. I don't know. You, you tell me if you think Robert Sala, they both know each other. Robert knows what he's thinking. He must do. Do you think Salah is going to get Fields? And it, uh, on the next news, Mac Jones... Try, uh, Mac Jones and Trey, I mean, uh, I don't know, but they know, if the way that it sounds like, we might get Mac Jones, so that's a good thing, I mean, I, I, I mean, uh, that guy, look, they're putting their hands in front of this guy, now it's you, go out there and get us many, you know, get us some touchdowns, work as a team, it's all down to you. So, is it Lance? Is it Jones? Me, personally, I couldn't care less as long as, you know, as long as they pick the right one. Tell me your comments, what I've said, you know. Tell me what you think and everything. And, um, yeah, thanks for guys for watching, and I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.